Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Doris Burke. And we've got David Aldridge on the sideline. Boys, nice night. The fans are making noise here inside the Oracle Arena for their Warriors. And it's the Warriors to start out. All right, let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. On the court for Cleveland, LeBron and Crowder, the tandem at forward. Rose is up there with J.R. Smith, and it's Love in the center position. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. LeBron passes to Smith. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. And Cavaliers fans have to be pleased with what the team got in exchange for Kyrie Irving. An all-star in Isaiah Thomas, a two-way starter in Crowder, and some talent for the future. I think they did well. Here's James. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. LeBron kicks to Rose. Back to James. Smith with it. Picked up by Thompson. But Julia with the steal. Right side crew. From outside, off the mark. Cleveland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Crowder from outside. And another miss by Cleveland. Nice timing to get up on that shot. Boy, you can't ask for better defense, Greg. Excellent work getting right into the grill of the shooter. Pachulia, good. Pachulia's got his first points of the game. Well, Pachulia just tireless on the boards. Throws himself at the basket to get any rebound he can. Man, they had high hopes for a fast start. They get out of the gates 0 for 4. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that. I mean, he wants oh, to. you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. They needed that. Just one for five to start this ball game. The wide open up for Durant. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. I'll tell you, don't let Kevin Durant start to percolate from outside that arc because you're going to be in for a tough night. LeBron dishes the Rose. And what was that about? Not a good shot right there. And Derrick Rose, a free agent this last offseason, didn't get the contract that he might have been hoping for, but most teams' doors shied away from giving sizable contracts to a player with his type of injury history. Well, for Derrick Rose, I think a number of teams have an interest in him, uh, just not at the same price he once commanded. Still beloved in terms of the fans because he's top 15 in jersey sales. And Cleveland making a change here. Wade's checked in. It's his first trip to the line. And taking a look back at his performance at the line a year ago, a rock solid 79%. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Pachuli. You know, it's interesting. Kevin Love almost two different players, right, guys? I mean, a bruising offensive rebounder who can battle inside, but also a skilled perimeter shooter. That's a rare combination. And guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Yeah, I think that's exactly how they built this lead. They played as one, shared the basketball, running their offense to perfection. And the three-point shot is a growing part of Kevin Love's game. Well, I think it's certainly something he's added since coming to the NBA. From barely shooting any early on in his career where he was a flat back-to-the-basket scorer, now three-pointers account for almost half of his field goal attempts. The Warriors making a switch here. Livingston's checked in. And then for Cleveland, Channing Fries checked in for Love. Green comes in for Jay Crowder, and it's Corver in for LeBron. Iguodala with the steal. 
Now the Warriors will get up. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Rose passes to Fry. Played with it. Guarded now by Durant. Lock at six. Wade from outside. Launches a three. And it's Wade again missing. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Ball out, ball out. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. The Cavaliers trail by 15. Outside Corver for three. And Curry pulls it down. Boy, he's so used to having a hand in his face that I think it caught him off guard to be that wide open. And really focused on establishing dominance down low. And guys, it's working. Oh, no doubt. I think they've controlled the paint. They've used their size and strength to get off any shot they want. What can you say about the playmaking ability of Draymond Green? He has evolved Doris into a point forward for one of the most high-powered offenses in NBA history. Uh, Draymond Green makes the system work. He's got tremendous vision. He can handle the basketball, can create for his teammates, and most importantly, he's an unselfish guy who wants his teammates to score. Corver missing again. The D slow to rotate, and he misses out on an easy chance from mid-range. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And there's the foul against Golden State. Cleveland shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And a season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. David West, he's checked in for Draymond Green. And McCaw is subbed in for Curry. Rose gets a wide open look. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And as he's tried to preserve his body to play a complete season, Rose has begun to lean more on that outside jumper. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Warriors lead by 18. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, play. The Cavaliers trail by 18. Livingston is out there with McCall. And it's West, and there's Igudal. And it's Young in a, the small forward spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Doris, who are some of the guys that surprise you with their toughness on a nightly basis in the NBA? You know, you have to think historically, pound for pound in the history of the NBA, the toughest single guy was Allen Iverson. For me, the current iteration, and I'm not saying that Isaiah Thomas is Allen Iverson. They're drastically different players because Isaiah doesn't have that kind of athleticism that AI had early. But Isaiah at 5'9", to continually find his way into the paint, to be willing to attack the bigs, to absorb the kind of pounding he does, and get himself into the MVP conversation, Kevin, really, that was incredible. LeBron probably takes, for a guy his size, to think he can dish it out. But I'm telling you, I, I, I think he gets whacked all the time. I think, Kevin, this is the single hardest guy in the NBA to officiate today. And frankly, I do not believe LeBron James goes to the foul line as much as he deserves. Yes, sir. And Cleveland making a change here. Love checked in for Fry. Crowder comes in for Green. James checked in for Kyle Corver. And Smith subbed in for Rose. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And a wide open look for James. No good on the three. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Start it. 
Guys, Tristan Thompson has one of the longest consecutive games played streaks in NBA history. He said, the mind's a powerful thing. And if you tell your brain everything is all right, you'd be surprised on the stuff you can achieve. You have the mental toughness to push through our limits. That's how you become great and test yourself as a player. Kevin? Well, David, Thompson's certainly a mentally strong player. Always nice to have someone you can rely on night in and night out. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. Here's LeBron. Wade missing again. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And Thompson kicks to Young. Back to Thompson. Takes a three. Knocks down the three ball. Oh, great ball movement there. Cleveland's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. And the whistle blow. It's going to be on Andre Iguodala. That is his first foul of the game. Here's James. Will it go? I'll tell you, he's been dry from three-point range in the second quarter after hitting one in the first. You think of Clay Thompson, and you think of his great shooting ability. But Doris, he is just as impactful on the other side of the ball. But to me, Kevin, he is one of the elite two-way players in the game because though he doesn't get a ton of steals or blocks, when it comes to guarding the James Hardens or the Russell Westbrooks, Clay always draws that assignment and does an incredible job. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's his first foul. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And Young kicks to McCaw. Thompson in the corner. It's stolen by Smith. And before he had time to bring the ball back in off the pump fake, out, and they're off. Well, 6'8", 250 pounds. You're going to have to do more than that to stop LeBron. And stolen by Love. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Now the pass to Smith. James outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Over West. LeBron can't get it to go. Boy, that's just the kind of tight defense you need to play on him. Any kind of room at all, and he'll bury it. Cleveland's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. Smith for three. And another three for Cleveland. Timeout, timeout. And really, Smith is always Hard. looking to fire as soon as he touches the ball. The D has to be more aware of that quick trigger. Different look here for the Warriors. Pachulia, he's checked in for West. Green comes in for Andre Iguodala. Durant's checked in for Nick Young. And Curry subbed in for McCall. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Channing Fries checked in for Love. Green comes in for Jay Crowder. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for LeBron. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Dwayne Wade. They kick it out to Green. Smith dishes to Green. Back to Smith. Pass to Rose. Corver kicks to Rose. Back to Corver. Here's the three. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Thompson. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Green the pass to Durant. Thompson in the corner. That three off the mark. Smith left side. They get it back. Outside Rose. Tries a three. Drilled it right oh. as the clock hit. All zeros. Wow, what a clutch shot he's got. And so it's the Golden State Warriors sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter.
and it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We've got more in store for you right after this. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but you know, anything can happen. The Cavaliers trail by 21. Listen, the Warriors are an incredible offensive juggernaut, but the reality is this team has been a championship caliber team because of their defense. The versatility of Draymond Green helps contribute to a team that led the league in opponent's field goal percentage and led the league last season in blocks and steals. Truly incredible on that end. Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. Smith is the two with LeBron at the three. Jake Crowder up there with Kevin Love. And it's Rose in at the one spot. Smith kicks to Crowder. Cleveland moving it around. James. The shot, no good. And Golden State will come the other way. And for the Warriors, what they do on defense is impressive on their own. A lot of switching and rotations that they are able to get away with because of their personnel. Correct, Kev. What makes this team work is they have a group of players who can all cover multiple positions. The Warriors can turn that switch and close out games because of absolutely suffocating defense. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Well, that's how you attack in transition. Remarkable effort, getting as high percentage a look as you can really get. Smith outside. From deep, the Warriors pull it in. I'll tell you, it'd be a big help if he could snap out of this cold streak. His shooting has been hurting them. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Wallace with it. Now guarded by Pachulia. There's Rose with the three. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And some changes here for the Warriors. West is checked in for Pachulia. Igudala comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Livingston in for Thompson. And Cleveland also making a change. Wade's checked in. And the foul on Derrick Rose. That's foul number two for him. Igudala kicks to Curry. Doris, so much offense is perimeter generated right now. What, if anything, could get us back to running more plays, say, through the post? Do you think we could reinvent Hakeem Olajuwon or perhaps Patrick <laughs> Ewing or I Bill wish we Russell? could. I wish we could. <laughs> <laughs> because I know this. Good point. <laughs> every time I walk by a pickup game on the outside, you see guys sprinting to the three-point line and looking to be Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Over in the corner, Livingston. Offline with his three. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Wade dishes to Love. Outside Rose. Shoots a three. And no good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. He's trying to make something happen, but obviously been a tough quarter. Gets it to very close range, but there was no way the defense going to back off and give him that layup. Outside curve. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Young's checked in for Golden State. Then for the Cavaliers, Channing Fries checked in for Love. Green comes in for James. And it's Corver in for Derrick Rose. Here's Wade. Shoots the three. And another miss by Cleveland. Warriors leading by 19. Here's Livingston. And it's denied. And he recovers it. Green kicks to Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. 
eight point for Steph Curry. Well, the defense is doing its job. It's just not affecting Curry. How good is this guy on the offensive end? Playing with lots of energy here, trying to cause turnovers. I love the tenacity right now. Definitely on the prowl, looking for every opportunity to make a steal. The other team has got to be sharp. McCall, he's checking for the Warriors. Green, no luck. Well, you look at the Cavs' offense, right? It's all about drive and kick. They put the ball into the hands of LeBron and space the floor with that shooting. It's a sort of pick-your-poison situation. And the Cavs last season, first in the league in catch-and-shoot three-pointers made. Right, number one, Kevin, in corner threes, and that was by a big margin. They put the ball in the hands of their stars and then positioned shooters around those two. Durant's checked in for Sean Livingston. We just admire Draymond Green for so many things. This guy is a talkative, passionate guy who certainly fires up the group around him. Corver kicks to Green. Looking for Crowder, he gets it there. Green with the block. Draymond Green twice on the pipe, sends it right back to the shooter. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. And so here's Cleveland. Just four points, that's all they've given up here in the second half. Corver passes to Green. Again, the miss by Green. Warriors leading by 23. And it's Green slamming it down. How easy is it to appreciate the intensity with which Draymond Green plays? Go ahead with power, sir. The tray. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Curry. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. The Warriors shoot nothing straight, 49% from the field. Bell is out there with Caspi. Then it's Thompson. Then there's Pachulia. And it's McCall in at the point. That's the Warriors' five. Well, he just gets ahead of himself and throws it away, right? You've got to have better focus than that. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Doris, you went from the basketball court right to the broadcasting booth. Uh, having seen the game now from an analyst perspective, what might you go back and tell Doris the player? Yeah, I'd probably tell myself to throw myself completely into the vibe of the team, to never, even if I were struggling as a basketball player, to turn inward. I would always say turn outward to your teammates and invest in what's going on as with the group, and then that seems to make everything fall into place. And mentally, too, I think you've got to prepare and focus like you would as a player when you are broadcast. No question about it. Ouch, that's a wasted possession. Got to shake it off and forget it happened, guys. And here are the Cavaliers. On right side. And there's the call on Pachulia. That is his first foul of the game. The three from LeBron. The offensive rebound. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. You guys know that's the kind of play that can get J.R. Smith absolutely taking over for a stretch of the game. Well, I'll tell you, for a long time, the reputation of J.R. Smith, not ideal. But, uh, you know, a little bit of poor decision-making, unfocused defensively. He's really matured. He's gotten better on and off the court. Picked by Pachulia. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. 
Green. He's checked in for Bell. Durant comes in for Caskey. And Stephen Curry subbed in for Patrick McCall. Just four to shoot. Green dishes to Durant. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Warriors leading by 22. Outside, Green. Latrey. And that's collected by Love. Love's got five rebounds tonight. Durant with the steal. Outside, Green. Shoots over Crowder. But Julia gets to Durant. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Golden State moving it around. Here's Durant. Great D that time from Love. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. James, the best to Rose. But Kevin Durant uses his length so well, and how about the timing to send that rejection back? Rose, 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 Rose. Here's Smith. Long range from the inbound. He had a make from downtown in the first half, but no three since then. And the shot's good from Crowder. Well, so quick off the pass. I mean, Crowder timing that shot perfectly, staying one step ahead of the defense. Time out, time out. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And the Cavaliers call time here. Well, you just watch the way that Klay Thompson shoots, and you're surprised when the ball doesn't go in. <laughs> I mean, one thing with Klay, too, in his shot, he believes it's always going to go in. More importantly, so does his teammates. And he's got that shooter's mentality where he just will continue to trust in his mechanics. And I don't think he gets enough credit for just how hard he works to maintain that shot. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. And Green gets it to go. They are just killing him on the interior. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Warriors leading by 23. Curry dishes to Thompson. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, obviously, I think when you watch the Golden State Warriors, when their pieces are clicking and humming all at the same time, it seems to me, guys, they're unbeatable. Well, to illustrate your point with the Warriors, Doris, they were 60-0 and last season when they had hit 10 threes in a game. Only if their shooters go extremely cold do they let games slip away. This is correct, Kev, and that's exactly what you expect from great teams. There is so much firepower on their team that unless they struggle to shoot the basketball, you're going to have a hard time beating them. And some changes here for the Warriors. West is checked in for Green. Young comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Livingston in for Clay Thompson. Curry kicks to Livingston. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Wallace with it. West picks him up. Lets it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Pachulia's got his sixth rebound on the night. Curry on the wing. Bucket is good. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Kevin Durant. 
Well, guys, this guy has been a handful all night long. His scoring really propelled them. And no matter what the matchup was or what the scheme they tried to use, they could not keep this guy in check. And it goes out of bounds. That one off West. Well, that's just taking your eyes off the target before releasing the pass. Very careless. Patrick McCaw, he's jacked in for Steph Curry. And then for Cleveland. Channing Fries checked in for Love. Corver comes in for LeBron. And it's Calderon in for Rose. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. And now we've got the intentional foul. You know, give them credit for still battling here down the stretch, but I think it's too little too late. You look at the height of Sean Livingston Doris and how he is able to both score and facilitate for others. He is a coach's dream in that regard. Well, Sean Livingston is a mismatch nightmare because with his size, he can shoot over most point guards in the post or in the mid-range. But then if you put a bigger player on him, he can create mismatches at other positions. He's a tough guard. And he commits the intentional foul. That free throw, no good. He's off on the second. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're behind by 23. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? And down like this, there's so much to talk about. I don't know if one timeout is going to be enough. <laughs> I think it's uh, looking pretty bleak. There's 21 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. LeBron with the bucket. If LeBron's three-point game is going, turn the lights out. It's over. He misses the free throw. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. There's the three. Another miss by LeBron. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.